I'm taking this one with me. You can't stop me. Take them all with me. I want the level design to go over here. I want it to go in the bathtub. It has to block the bathtub here. Art by. Nope, there goes the art. All art's gone. Wii U implementation. Implementation. Blah, 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 blah. There, I got my Steven shield. Now I'm safe from all these other words. I wasn't. All these names I can destroy. Justin, you must save me. I got my trumpet shield and my Justin shield. And there goes my Justin shield. You destroy my name. I don't know where it's going to be, Kirby Bolt. Backup snails. Say executive alligator wrestler. I think I just realized that's what that said. Special thanks. All right, I'll still destroy everyone's name. I'll do my best. All right, Unity Game Engine, you first. All right, Nintendo of America. It's weird seeing your name on a Steam game. Army of froglets. Oh god, there's so many! There's so many names! Is this actual backers singing too? Cause that's kind of a nice touch actually. You took it in stride inside Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek. Well done. It's the blob of names coming with me. I like missed the whole game. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the quotes I got for the game actually ranged from one to two hours to two to three hours to five hours. So the fact that we beat it in less than one <laughs> caught me off guard. Oh, we've been, yeah, we've been live for one hour and three minutes. And because I flubbed the intro, we've been playing this for less than an hour. Production babies, Benjamin and Isaac. Congrats, small children. But now I'm a space tadpole. Now I don't care. Now this turns into Star Fox. I'm home! Did you miss me? Thanks for getting me home, Mr. Moo! We did it. Does that make you, me, Slippy? I don't think so. I'm Mr. Moo. 100% speedrun is 2 hours and 37 minutes. Wow. Clap. <laughs> Hooray! You unlock concert concerto mode and the credits. Oh, there's the credits up in space. And it 
loops back over. Okay, cool. That was fun. That was a cute game. That was fun. Good job, Mr. Moo. How'd we do on the leaderboards? What was the one stage we got an S rank on? Oh, never mind. I guess, since it's not working. Second to last, the salt level. Of course it was the fucking salt level. Steam is down for maintenance, or it was earlier. Okay, so steam itself is the problem. Okay. I made it pure salt. That's how I was able to do it. So we unlocked concerto mode, bestiary scenes. So that's all four cutscenes. And for those who haven't seen this before, uh, apparently you can make your own stages too. Oops, I actually didn't mean to watch that. Yeah, so here's composition mode. So you can literally just... Composition mode is a tool to create your own stages and music. By continuing your agreeing that any work written is your own, you have permission from the composer to use it. If you share the song, other players will be able to edit their copy of it. If Infinity is not accountable for any songs created in composition mode, you are. If you agree, click yes, continue. Now fun, budding maestro. I don't agree to that. Bye. Oh, I guess I do agree. New song. I love it. Now we gotta make a song first. Hang on. Let's, uh... Let's scoot a bit here. I have to use the mouse for this one, don't I? It's not going to let me do this just otherwise. Yep. Got to put some horns in. <laughs> Perfect. Brings the song together. Let's hear let's hear that sounds. How do we play it? Beautiful. And we'll leave it at that. And why is there no audio? I found it. Well Well gang. That went faster than I expected. <laughs> Literally thought that was going to take another hour. Uh, okay. Trojan, thank you for sending that game, because I believe that copy I have is from you. And also thank you to Trojan, Zerling Gaming, and Pantero for suggesting that. That was fun. Bit weird to get used to at first. Still feels a bit clunky in the beginning, but like I guess I got used to the quirks by the end. And that boss fight at the end was kind of cool, actually. I'll, I'll give it credit for that. The boss fight was kind of neat. Uh, what's today's date? November 20th. Happy November 20th, everybody. If you're into... If you are into, uh... The Monty games. All right, well, with T done, and with <laughs> four hours left to the stream, <laughs> shit, uh, I guess it's time to move on to game you. <laughs> Let's drop some eggs first. Oh my god, you guys were really trolling me during the game. Thank you, Gifts of Bombs. Thank you to Gatherbot Helper, Kirby Volt, Maris Lavender, Tempest Gray, The Little Stoner Boy, and Gamers. Video Gamer Paul for 36, Oculus for 10, Darkest Tempest for 57, Fo uh, Fory Cobra for 26, Epleride for 26, Jacko Center for 25, Power Muffin for 30. 
Shadowzer 925 for 27, KMAX 639 for 72, Darche for 4, Pokemon Fan 497 for 16, Shiren 45 for 38, Phoenix Down for 27, El Pica Bandito for 52, Johnny Z for 24, Red 500 for 21, Aura Morgan for 48, Pino Graham for 50, Napoleon Johnamite for 21, Foretold Legends for 9, Varluna for 64, Moon Leader, thank you for the new sub, Darth Wind for 31, Proust Kite for 27, Random Face Gaming for 8, Defender Hero for 29, Trifamous Maggie for 33, Nukio for 37, Kanto Red for 12, TJ McCarr for 46, Snow Grimoire for 22, PK Sandman for 21, 3 2 for 10, Big Crazy Turtles for 17, Chaos King 1236 for 67, Mini Will 9188 for 27, Trebot 911 for 38, Cloud 3514 for 47, Chaos Agents for 7. Shillick for 23, Little Stoner Boy for 6, Zenbei for 23, Asking Gray for 10, KJK 2016 for 23, True Anonymous for 22, True Blue 5 for 15, Mayo for 73, Mambo, Go Kai Yellow for 21, Turtle Science for 17, Teletran 2 for 23, Tempest Demon Artichy for 29, Random Percentage for 37, Low Key 57 for 6, Dark Lager 269 for 70, Dan Darkheart for 39. Vlad Kuroneko for 16, Digital Ronin 42 for 29, Diabetic Bacon Grease for 25. Makes me laugh every time I hear it. Uh, Blue Hat Wearing Penguin for 11, Ninji 64 for 35, Herald of Exodus for 34, Kyrie 700 for 24, Zerifi 003 for 11, and Yikati for 38. Thank y'all for subbing to hanging out tonight, guys, and I guess enjoying the very fast game tea. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. There are two Easter eggs in Tadpole Treble. One is easy to do. You need to stay on Bullfrog Grove without moving or talking. It'll take a bit to notice, but it's worth it. The second one is the pause menu song. Look it up on YouTube because it's RNG based. Oh, wow. Or based or messing around with a specific thing on Thunder Creek. Wow. That's neat, though. Lokanita. Uh, oh, did I miss that video from... Because I don't remember showing this video. I do remember showing that video. Never mind. Uh, I've got one egg from Heavy Base. Titled Goose Egg. You will give me an... Y'all are very... Y'all are very... Uh, what's the word? Expecting. Y'all very expecting the next game to be Untitled Goose Game. Y'all just expecting it. That's just to be the answer. Y'all don't fucking know me. God damn it. Yes, when we come back from break, we're playing Untitled Goose Game. See you guys after the break. Y'all is something, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I should have just picked an Uncharted game just to troll. I should have went for it. Uh, now I actually just want to change the game to an Uncharted game just just to be a dick. But the problem is I would have to start with like three or four because I've beaten one and two. You throw us right into Uncharted 4. That's a little mean, honestly.
So we heard you caught a Ros Roselia. Oh my god. I had the weirdest fucking glitch happen. It was actually two separate glitches happening at the same time. One glitch was... Reese, who was sitting right next to me playing Pokemon Shield, kept getting sticker spam of the fact that I caught a Rosalia. It literally just kept every second sending her a prompt that I had caught another one. It just kept happening over and over and over. Neither of us were online, we were just in local mode, and it just kept spamming that. And the other was that same Rosalia. Uh, instant broke out of every ball I threw at it. For some reason, to catch that Rosalia, I had to turn off, I had to put my system into airplane mode. Because literally, the first ball I threw at it, when it was health was in the red, it did three shakes, and then broke out, which bummed me out already. And then everything I threw at it right after, instant broke, including a great ball. I, I'm still in the starting area, and it broke out of a great ball. I'm like, okay, it broke out instantly, something is wrong. So, I had, I literally flipped, turned on, like, airplane mode, and then it immediately got caught in a regular Pokeball. So I'm like, alright, this game, fuck this game right now. I just burned, like, I don't know how many trying to figure out why that wasn't happening. I was just getting frustrated. Like, two of my Pokemon died in the process of trying to catch this one fucking plant. Five. 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 I should have actually named it, like, I, I don't know if I named it Glitch, I was just like... I, I must have named it something, right? I don't think I did. I might have named it Cursed, actually. Knowing me, I probably named it Cursed. Cursed or Glitched. Are you enjoying Pokemon more by playing with your wife? Oh, she's way ahead of me, actually. She's got, like... <laughs> God damn it, Zonalok. Uh... She's way ahead. She's got like four gym badges, I think. I just got into the the first town after the wild. Like I'm I'm very slow playing by comparison. But I got a rapid dash. <laughs> so in 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 the similar vein to how uh, that Rosalia was impossible to catch, we did a three or four star raid. I think it was a four star raid, and I caught it. I caught the the rapid dash. So my shot copy of sword has a level 20 rapid ash now. <laughs> Caught it first try. She was just confused, really. And I guess I was too, because I didn't I wasn't sure. Because all I had were regular Pokeballs to throw. <laughs> and it got in it. It was so stupid. This oh my god. Gaming is stressful. For the dumbest reasons. Gaming. Yeah, exactly. Alright, while well, I'm waiting for Cocoms, let's read a couple quick donations. Because y'all were generous, but you're a trolley generous during that during the rhythm game. Darshay says, Hey buddy, I haven't caught a stream lately, but are you considering a multi-stream on Mixer or maybe giving Mixer a chance? Contractually, I cannot. The only way I can uh, stream on Mixer is by no longer streaming on Twitch. That's why people don't do both if they're a partner or affiliate. It's literally in your contract that you cannot do both. The only way I could actually stream on Mixer and also stream on Twitch is if I stream something completely different than what I do on here. And when you're a variety streamer who literally streams random video games, it's really hard. <laughs> To find something you don't do here that you could do over there. I could get yeah, social eating. I could do social eating. Just watch watch me gain weight. Social eating or like model building, but I also want to do model building on here. So uh yeah, you're not gonna see me on Mixer basically. And those people who try to do both, uh, and don't read their contract, whoo, we don't talk about them. Because they are screwing themselves over.
Uh, where were we? Sorry, I got some messages I'm checking here. Afro Blade Master says, at this point, your tagline should be, break the unbreakable. I mean, nothing's unbreakable, let's be real. That is not a, that is not a possible statement. Random guy, thank you for the bits. Bagel says, Dad, may I sing the song of my people? I mean, you're napping right now under my desk, buddy, so maybe not. You look adorable, though. Do you exercise streams on Mixer? God, no. I'm not comfortable enough with myself to do that. As you could tell by how annoyed I was the entire time doing Ring Fit. Thank you for the bits, gamers. SNX Sonic set. Oh, I already read that one out. Because you totally trolled. Thank you for the bits, gamers. Oh my god, bits. You were Gamers, you were just sending off all the bit alerts, weren't you? You fucking troll. Claydog says, just joined the 30s club today. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, okay. Interesting. Here's to help this thunder tap pull bring... Uh, here's to this thunder tap pull to bring her home. Enjoy the stream. And lastly, five, 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 five. You share Reese's birthday. Luca's birthday is in a couple hours, but since you're in Australia, it's already her birthday. Time zones! Hooray, time zones. What's up, dude? Uh, not a whole lot. It's... It's been interesting. What about a Nokia phone? Oh, I've definitely broken a Nokia phone before. <laughs> I've definitely broken those before. They're not as invincible as people think. Espionata says, with Christmas coming, I figured out what to give to my mom, and that is transferring all of the home movies to Blu-ray. Oh, that's super sweet. It'll be bittersweet Aww. seeing as the main reason I'm doing it is to hear my dad's voice again since he passed away over 10 years ago. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to fuck you up a lot. But honestly, you're going to feel, in the long run, you're going to feel really good about it. And your mother is going to love, love it for that. Yes, yeah. that is a super smart choice, Espionata. This is her what birthday? Oh, this is her, uh, <laughs> God, her, uh, 25th. Tw no, no. <laughs> 25th. I'm, I'm not, not married to an underage woman. Mm. We'll go, we'll go 25th. Exactly. It's always the 25th. 25th is a safe one, because now she gets cheaper car insurance. <laughs> 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 Captain Joe says, been in a serious hockey mood as of late, so I bought NHL 20 over the weekend, and it's been interesting getting used to playing on an Xbox One controller compared to a GameCube controller. Also, Patrick Waugh is the best goalie, hands down. Yeah, no, uh, honestly, it's really hard to go back to any other controller after getting used to Xbox One. Like, this gen, I feel like all the companies kind of figured out controllers really well. Yeah, honestly. Joy-Cons aside, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Pro Controller, PS4, or DualShock 4, and Xbox One Controller are pretty solid. And honestly, Joy-Cons are kind of just the... The Xbox Elite controllers, if you ever get your hands on those, those are super nice, but they're fucking expensive. Yeah! And you have to get, buy all the different parts whenever they break. Mm, yep, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, haha. <laughs> I mean, Joy Cons are kind of more of a, well, we just kind of need a. They're just kind of tied to the system, that's why they're not the best. Transhomer says, John, a lot of shit happened while you were gone. I was gone for two weeks. I reverted to Islam, got my balls removed, phone got a tiny bit of water, and might have broke. I like how that's the, the end bullet point. Also, there was that giant bug with Roku and Pokemon that was odd. Anyways, thanks for the stream. <laughs> Congrats on literally every event in your life happening in two weeks, Amra. Damn. Also, congrats on finding religion. Oh, yo, did, did you guys, yeah, congrats on that, by the way, but did you guys hear about the bug with Roku and Pokemon that, that Hamura broke, brought up? Apparently, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. the same, like, the same, the data that Pokemon Sword sends out locally to Shield and other Sword copies is, like, just a bite off, frequency. yeah, it's just yeah. a bite off of uh, what the Rokus use to communicate with, like, the internet and each other, and the signal is the boot, reboot command, yeah. So literally, if you stand by a Roku that's not patched with a copy of Sword or Shield running on your Switch, you can just reboot any Roku you want, which is hilarious. <laughs> this is like this is a freak accident that should that statistically should not happen, and somehow it happened. It's it's like, like it's not even really the dev's fault. It's not even Sword and Shield dev's fault. That's the best part. It's just a fucking freak fluke. 
by a mile and a half. Like you have to understand how many frequencies there are, and they just happen to that one just happened to coincide with each other. Is it the TV? No, the Roku itself. The Roku is a little it's a streaming device basically. Yeah, it's like an Amazon Fire Stick or whatever you want to call it. Google Google Chrome uh, Chromecast. Damn, Google. Chromecast, yeah, like Chromecast, like that version of something, just a device that you stream to the TV. Yeah, but the Roku can handle like hundreds of TVs basically and stuff like that. Like it, yeah, it, it's like a big net, bigger network really. Uh, Tobiko Wind and Obu Obu do thank you for both for the bits. How about we go to Art Block? I mean, it's early in the stream, so there's not too. Actually, there's a decent amount of art here for the stream having literally just started. <laughs> Starting off with a giant close-up of Crystal. I was nervous about watching Star Fox Assault stream as I'm a huge fan of the Star Fox series. Super happy to hear that you had fun. With so much hate floating around that series, nice to see some positivity. Uh, I'm adding some neat since uh, not entirely sure this would be appropriate. Uh, Ceylon Gur on Twitter is looking for contributions to a Star Fox Assault fan book since so many fun artists here and you recently did Star Fox Assault. Felt I should mention it here. The last fan book they did specifically for Crystal, which they sent to Nintendo. The book itself, the pages were made available digitally so you can print them off yourself. Cool. Um, so I think the main reason there's so much, I wouldn't really call it hate floating around for Star Fox. I feel it's more so they feel like they haven't, a lot of people felt they haven't captured the magic of 64. And Basically. I, I feel Assault was the closest they'd gotten correctly. Uh, out of what I've played. I've only played a little bit of Star Fox Adventures. Zero... Zero will probably be also the next closest, but I ha couldn't get over the control scheme when I played the demo. I just never sat down and gave the full game a try. And I liked Command, but Command is more like two. And uh, it's a little... I also don't like controlling with the, with the stylus. Mm. But yeah, no, um... Star Fox is just a series that's just so inconsistent with its quality, and that's why people get so upset about it. It seems like it should be a really straightforward thing to do, and somehow it's not. I've talked to a lot of people that have said they feel like the best Star Fox the game they've gotten in like the past couple years is Starlink. <laughs> it's not even that's, a Star Fox yeah. game, it, it's like a Ubisoft game that they just shoehorn some Star Fox stuff in. But apparently the Star Fox stuff, stuff they put into Starlink was really good! That sounds about right. I heard pretty good things about Starlink. Yeah, but either so. way, like, I really enjoyed Assault. The Assault was fun. There was some bad, like, it was very inconsistent with how I, how I liked it at times. Like, Stage 9 sucked. I don't think there's gonna be any sugarcoating that one. And uh, hit or miss on the walk around stages, but the the R wing stages were were really good, and I liked the stages where you could do you could pick and choose which path you took. I actually kind of like that. It doesn't help that multiple devs have made the start different Star Fox games and made it hard to stay consistent. That is also extremely true. Very very rarely ha actually come to think of it. So, uh, Star Fox 1 was... was it Appalachia Software? I can't remember the name of the studio. Uh, something like that. Star Fox 1 and 2 were the same studio. Uh, but then Nintendo took over for Star Fox 64. Argonaut, thank you, it's Argonaut. I don't know where I got Appalachia from. Argonaut Studios did 1 and 2. Uh, Nintendo did 64. Assault was Namco. Command was, uh, former Argonaut devs. But it was the the guys who do uh, Pixel Junk now. Uh, Zero was Platinum. 64 3D was... Shit, which studio was that? It wasn't Grezzo. Uh, G-Mode? Q Games. Thank you, Three Master Gamers. Yeah, so that's the same studio that did uh, Command, I think. So it's like, it's just been everywhere. And, oh yeah, yeah and Adventures. Kind of. How do I, I completely forgot Adventures. That's rare. Adventures is the most different Star Fox game because most of it is on land. It's not mostly well, it, in the Because it wing. wasn't supposed to be a Star Fox game, that's why. Yeah, that, yeah, you can tell. You can very much tell. All right, and this is one that this is one that got. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I would say Adventures more like a Metroidvania type. Of game. It's much more like a Zelda. It's, it's a Zelda. Almost. It's a Zelda straight up. Fox, can you see where Pigma is? On Registered Hypercam 2. We hope you enjoy your Lilac lenses. Your free trial is expired. Please enter your serial number to continue using your Lilac lenses. Fox? Ugh. From the Starbucks Assault Stream, Fox's reluctance to use his binoculars on Pachina. 
God damn it. That's still really funny where he just throws away the binoculars and doesn't care. So good. <laughs> I honestly pictured instead of that, um, like Mission Impossible with the tapes always self-destructing in eight seconds. Oh yeah, no, that would also make sense too. I, I like to scramble the egg. Yes, this picture is me following up on my egg from on Monday on how Von Strangle likes to scramble the egg and this made... And thus I made some scrambled eggs using pepper and taco sauce for the glasses and hair. Oh my god. I thought you literally just took a pit like just was a picture of plate of eggs, but that actually is the Wesker egg. I <laughs> just realized that. So that's organized that's organized weirdly. It's only I was like, it's only gonna quarter the plate, but yeah, that's Yeah, because uh, here's the glasses, well here's the hair, and there's the rest of the body. That actually works. Holy shit. Also, Magus, that's a lot of pepper. Hopefully you're okay after eating that much pepper with your egg. <laughs> I'd be more, more worried about the taco sauce. Yeah. I don't think I, I don't think what, taco sauce when I think egg. Once you, once you like taco sauce, you're fine. I caught a Rosalia! I caught a Rosalia! I caught a Rosalia! I caught a Rosalia! <laughs> Truthfully, I've not been an eager to draw as much lately because I haven't been in a good place for a while due to personal issues in my life, and I feel like I've lost my creative spark. I've definitely been there before. But thanks to some of your streams and Todd taking care of me, I am feeling better now. Things are slowly starting to get back on track, and I'm getting into drawing again. So decided to draw this. Rosa John sharing her excitement of her latest catch at Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> this is this is pretty much how it went down, actually. Um, I actually really like this version of Reese you've done here. I like the little taco earrings, and I like mm -hmm. the horse shirt you got here. It at first when I saw the picture, I think I was half asleep because I'm like, well, is there a horse coming out of her switch? Is she caught so many Pokemon horse Pokemon that's just falling out? But no, that's just the print on her shirt. But this is very accurate, Mel. Thank you, and I hope you are feeling better, Mel. I know what it's like to lose your creative spark, and honestly, you'll be you'll be shocked at what will actually bring it back randomly. So. Mm. Oh, hello. Here's another drawing I did in my computer animation class. This time, it's Melanie from Pokemon Sword and Shield because she is cute, and my sense of self-control is next to non-existent. She seems smaller than I'm used to seeing her online. Mm. But yeah, no, she's not in Sword, right? She's Shield exclusive. Is she? I don't know. I, I heard. I heard she's one of the exclusive gym leaders. Because I think you fight her son or daughter instead. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, people are saying shoot, shoot only. <laughs> what brings back the creative spark is John's massive knockers. Yo, man, whatever works. Ice type leader in shield. Okay. Melanie is in shield. Shield exclusive. Yes, you fight her son in sword. Okay. You fight Ronaldo from Steven Universe in sword. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Middle school, 14 years and 17 years. College or collage, 19 years and 22 years. Ouch. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Collage, 21 years. Extra alt, high school, 16 years. Inspired by Lucajin's The Spare Girl stream, in one timeline, John hung out with Masay more often, and the other he did with Jules. Both Masay and Jules turn out to be the same in either. Which do you prefer? People do say that John and Jules look exactly like Byakuya and Kaito, so I did the obvious Photoshop. By the way, the chat, Masay did have muscles in the last two edits she was in. I'll admit it was hard to see, but she had abs. No, to be fair, this this is how built Masei probably wishes she was at times. <laughs> Just, you know, be able to punch a car and have it explode, basically. She and wants she to actually be Carver. Exactly. No, she she literally is Carver, is really, if you ask her. Don't get her mad or she will transform into Carver. <laughs> I love frogs. That is all. Frog joy. In all seriousness, I love this game, and even though there are a lot of rough spots, dandelion bounce pads being inaccurate at times, I'm super happy to see you play this. Thank you. Also, sometimes if the pu if you pause the music, you hear a funny song instead of the usual. Also, also there is a special musical thing. If you get the worst rank in a stage, I'm gonna guess that's the stand perfectly still one. Also, 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 I can't stress this enough. Thank you. I love this. Also, 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 frog. Also, 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 I should have probably mentioned this. In, is Frog John? <laughs> thanks, thanks, Chloe. Mm. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So gorgeous. Here's John and Bagel's a pair of tadpoles to celebrate his successful run through Tadpole Trouble this evening. Makes me want to go and play through it again. By the way, have you heard of the pause menu song? I mean, everyone really wants me to hear this, so... I guess let's load it up. Yeah, boy. Hopefully it doesn't mute the pod. I mean, it's in the game, so I doubt it. 95% of the time when you pause in Tadpole Trouble, you hear soft, pleasant music, but if you're lucky, you just might hear the... Sometimes when playing all your video games, you feel the urge to swiftly stop. 
If nature's calling, don't let us hold you back. So go or else your bladder might pop. Or maybe someone's calling you on the phone. Ring, ring. They'll hear us singing to them now. La. Hey, telephone chum, thanks for stopping our game. You wrecked your friend's high score. What a pal. Or maybe now's the time to clean up your act. Hey, pass the soap. To take a shower, cause you smell. Well, regardless if you need a bath or a snack, thank goodness, goodness we can stop for a spell and sing along. Pause menu song. We'll sing it strong. Pause menu song. So go grab a snack. We'll be here when you get back with our pause menu song. There's a link in the chat for those who want to click it. Pause menu song. It's the pause menu song. It's the pause menu song. Sing that pause menu song. Sing that pause menu song. Might might have actually. Pause menu song. Pause menu song. Pause menu song. My God. They had too much fun making this game, you can tell. <laughs> they, had, they had way too much fun making that game. Holy shit. God damn. Uh, I appreciate Devsy putting in little stuff like that. It's so, so silly. They definitely mastered silly. Bagel is angry that you disturbed his sleep. Shame on you, John. No, don't worry. He oh, fuck. <laughs> He's awake again. Hi, Bagel. Hi, buddy. Hello. You still look tired. Go back to sleep. Please. He's like, yeah, what about it? If you can't tell me what to do, Dad, I'm gonna thing. sleep anyway. The musical tale of a little tadpole finding his way home. Yes, I know she was a girl. Shh. It's alright, don't worry. Thank you, Drops. Oh, God. Luca, get a get me out of here, John. <laughs> sorry, honey, you look so cute. Oh, sorry. sorry, honey, you look so cute. <laughs> Why is Chugga purring? Oh, God, no. Oh. Is this the cat joke that always happened? Yeah, that, was, that happened from like the tier two stream. Giant Buffton John was walking around town with Luca and Chugga. Luca doesn't seem to be enjoying it as much as Chugga is. John's loving it though. Hey John, where are you three most likely going in the picture? You decide. Uh, hmm. Taco Bell for Reese. <laughs> that makes sense. To make up for, for her being stuck in this situation. Ooh, look at this cutie. <laughs> Go, little tadpole! This game is so adorable, so have a tadpole, John. Can it sing? It barely has lungs, so I don't know. <laughs> Kinda hard to sing underwater. I evolved! John did it. He evolved. I'm proud of myself. I evolved to have legs, and a hat, and glasses. <laughs> Thanks, Chubby. And closing out with, yo, look at this 3D printed Goemon. Greetings, John. After a month of sculpting That's and six hours sick. of printing, I finished my first printed model. I had to do Goemon, and it was a lot of fun to do. Now I gotta sand it. Yo, sanding that's gonna be a pain, but that looks really good. Oh, the good. hair. Oh, God, that hair's gonna be a nightmare and a half. But that's really cool, though, Space Bat. All right, and with that, that's it. It's time for the goose. The goose is loose. Is Kokon feed up? Uh, what is happening on the side of this? Are you seeing chat? In yeah. The that. What the heck? What? Wait, that, a black square. That looks like your dashboard. Yeah. Why the fuck is that there? Uh, I can't even tell what window that is. Uh. uh I literally don't know what that is. It's not on the. Oh, scene at all. I know what that is. God so you lied to us. I oh, it out. Yeah. I know what that is. Bubba Web also fan. knows what it is. Yeah. Web, oh. that's the stuff from Ring Fit, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot we did that. That other black square, that was my webcam because it's on the ground. Nah. It's covered up, so. Untitled Goose Game. I'm like, what the fuck are these things? Ooh, dot matrix printer paper, nice. Run hold, bend hold, wings hold, zoom hold. Camera focus, goose and people. To do list text, cursive, settings text, italics. Adjust controller. Run is B, grab is A, honk is Y, crouch is ZL, flap ZR, zoom in L, zoom out R. Press minus to review what? the controls during the game. 
So what's the game like? Uh, you ever wanted to be a troll that's a goose? That's what ba this game is. Yeah, basically this is be an asshole the video game. Cause as much chaos as possible. As a duck. Or a goose. As a goose. That's a, there's a big difference between the two. Your progress is saved automatically. Press Y to hunk. I'd say it's better made than Goat Simulator. The Goat Simulator is made to be funny with how bad the physics are. Like, this is actually made to be a fun experience. Hello! Hi there! Uh, it's Goose Howard. Pathetic! Predictable! Look at all these bells. So many bells. Rambroken! Double Rambroken! That's a lot of bells. Rising Storm! I want the bells. For whom the bells toll for? Yeah, it tolls for this goose. So this is Crouch Walk. <laughs> it's the Goose Walk. I got a boot! I got a boot! Aha! We have made a friend. You shall not be missed. You have to give this friend the boot. Yeah, put this can in the boot. No! Put the can in the boot! Damn. So if you can actually do that, aim that, that's, that'd be impressive. No, stealth. your ball! Ah. Stealth goose. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Puzzles. Uh oh. The goose is loose. You broke it. John did it. Perfect. Let's go! Hold ZR to spread your wings! Whee! Good place Whee. for a name drop. This is kind of fun, actually. <laughs> Just being a goose. So with all the stuff you've already, the, the goose has already stolen before you take control, I'm surprised the town's people aren't like. It's just bells I've taken so far. Yeah, you don't you don't even know from where. Spawns are assholes. Very true. <laughs> are we going to hundred percent this game? Probably not tonight. Probably not, no. Get into the garden, get the groundskeeper wet, steal the groundskeeper's keys, make the groundskeeper wear his sun hat, rake in the lake, and have a picnic. Bring to the picnic blanket, sandwich, apple, pumpkin, carrot, jam, thermos, radio, and basket. Mm-hmm. I got the radio. I guess I have to find the picnic. It's the picnic food. Gotta find the picnic. Oh, picnic blanket is what they said. You have found the blanket. Congratulations. Unfortunately, he knows it's missing. Probably because he hears it. But he's in, that's weird. He's not picking it up. Usually he finds it by now. Oh, there he is. Oh, right. I don't have Cocom stream up here. Let me do that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why are you commenting so far behind? Ooh. I'm commenting uh, as fast as I can, John. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's why I said at the start of the game, uh, can Kokom peek his Kokom feet up? Never! It's up now. <laughs> Thank you. Give back! It's mine! It's mine! Yoink! 
Good goose. Well, I got the ground super wet because you just stepped in the water. Mm-hmm. Fine. I'm taking your keys. Sucker! I oh, he only dropped them. <laughs> Running around in circles. Here, you go get that. Okay, I'll steal your keys. No, I'll steal the radio again, I guess. Come and get me, sucker! Come and get me! I like the way he he runs. He's just waddling, like just arms to his side. Groundskeep. The goose is upset at the groundskeeper because he's not playing. He's what playing, the goose? Play one of those to? lame radio stations. Here, this is my pumpkin. It's mine now. Ha 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 ha! No one's gonna want that. So you don't need the keys? I probably do. You can't do anything with them, but Oh, never mind. What yeah, you don't, 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 do don't do spoil keys? anything, but yeah, at the same time, like Yeah. 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 That, what are you gonna do with keys? Steal them. Go for a joyride. I, I doubt they're car keys. Well, let's get the picnic basket. Hey, 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 boo boo. Be very, hey, very boo -boo. careful. <laughs> because Roger Smith is around and he does not like us taking some picnic baskets. All right, I need a pumpkin, a carrot, a jam, and a thermos. And the radio's going to be the last radio. one, I guess. <laughs> um, Small raid. Ooh, hang on. I'm. My carrot! My carrot! Not yours! Bring her on the rosy. Let me turn on this mower. That'll do it. Fury's raiding. Got the guns. Fury, thank you so much for the raid. It's game clearing night. We're, we're doubling down this week. We <laughs> we beat game S on Monday. We've already beaten game T today. So now we're on U, which is Untitled Goose Game. Woo! Now we're committing crimes. Goose crimes. Goose crimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll put that there. Hide it gone. away for later. Well, because he's gone to get his fertilizer, so I don't want him to see me. Again, this is this is Metal Gear Goose. Yeah. <laughs> see, Falcon mostly agrees. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the closest thing he can do to making a goose honk. Is the <laughs> with the alarm in Metal Goose solid. Be uh, just a bunch of honking. I would imagine. Uh, carrot jam thermos and radio. I think he saw you and he says, Oh no, the goose is back. 
Well, the question is, can't will he do anything about it? This time he nope. is. He's trying. He, he was. I was like, where'd my jam go? Oh, that's weird. Oh well, I'll grab this apple on the ground. So he got distracted by the apple on the ground. My cunning strategy works. Distraction tactics. How could you, John? Pretty easily, actually. Good, good job getting out of that jam. No. <laughs> it looks like you have hair when the carrot like that. Yeah. I'm trying to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he had it for, for a split second. Split second there. All right. I need his thermos and the radio, and they're both in the same spot. Oh, nobody knows I'm there. How can I get past this master? The impenetrable wall, which I've already gone past. Well, obviously, what you, if any cartoon has taught me anything, uh, get some glasses with a fake mustache, and he'll never recognize you. Flawless strategy. Or just walk normal. That That's a good strategy, too. All right, all we need is the radio, I believe. Walk when he isn't looking. Perfect. This is like a sane version of Katamari. Well, more realistic, I think, is maybe. Yeah, you aren't really rolling stuff as much in this game. You aren't trying to make remake the planets. Oh, so, oh no, that's just his boots. Never mind. No, he's looking for the stuff. He just doesn't know where it is. Hold a newspaper in front of your face. Perfect. But never notice. Nice, you dropped the radio. I'm st uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, dude. Uh -oh. He, no, he's gonna he's gonna get it. Or is he gonna get caught? Uh-oh. 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 This oh no. This is not what happened to me, but this might be the same. I think you have to grab the radio before before he puts the, the container back. That might I'm gonna work on the rake now. Oh okay, he got it, he got it. Oh wow. Quick while he's distracted! <laughs> <laughs> Too slow, it's a big ass cooler. Do you need the cooler? No, I need, I need the radio, but my damn head nice. won't grab it. There we go. Don't know if we're going to make it. He's pretty quick. Ah, run, little goose, run. Aha, I have a picnic. Made it. Nice. What do we got left? Rake in the lake and make him wear a sun hat. Quickly while, while he's distracted. While I was fixing one thing, we break something else. Brilliant! Excellent. Rake is hard? Not if he's distracted with the radio. Yeah, no. Perfect. I'll put it right Beautiful. next to his keys. I'll be nice. A new to-do list Find item. Oh! You are an asshole! Yeah, alright, how do I make, how do I make <laughs> him wear a sun hat? I didn't even see the sun hat. It's on the shed. Oh. That's a good question. How do I reach oh, that? I know how, I'm not gonna say anything. By putting the binds in the proper order, Voila! The gate's open! I got your boot, too! Got your boot! Hmm. No, no hints, chat. If you want hints, we'll talk about it. Nope. John will make Master it strategy! Crazy. Master of stealth! Talk about spinning him around right round. <laughs> Where's that hole that very... coming from? I'm just gonna spin without moving my feet. I have very, I, I'm very good insoles. 
What could I do that would get that hat off there? Hmm. This is PT. Uh, yes, this is this is the spiritual successor. You just don't know it yet. That we're, we're just said we're the ghost this time. We are Lisa. There, romance, romance the hat. There's only one thing I can think of to make him switch hats. And I don't know how to make him do this. Hmm. What could do what to do? What to do? Have you tried staying Jared into the switch yet? <laughs> that is bullshit. I'm gonna take care of your garden for you since you're so busy. Meanwhile, he's gone back to put his jam back. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with this, with this game is the pathing path sometimes is a bit wonky. Don't you just mm. love intelligent AI? Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 I need to get over there, but there's You're... something blocking my way. Yeah, now you can't get in your own damn place. I fixed it. <laughs> Oh, wonder where that went. Oh well. Doopa 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 doopa. Oh no! I did a hidden mission. <laughs> yep. Uh. To do as well. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. But now I how? I'm gonna do that one by accident. Yeah. yeah. How do I? How do I get back in though? Do I have to go get the keys? Uh, that's one option. There is another. Is it, is it following him in his secret back path here? Doop -a -doop. Just enjoying nature. Uh, it, T, the T game was Treble Tadpole. Tadpole Treble. What John said. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you just you live here it. now, buddy. Now, don't you? We'll have fun, I guess. <laughs> well, so much for doing that mission. I guess we'll move on. I think you can. I think you do need to have to get him back in the garden at some point, though. Hang on. I gotta remember where I put the keys. There they are. By the rake. <laughs> As a marker, in case this same thing happened. Oh, no. He figured it out. I wanted to open the door. Also, I like apparently the gates on a on a close when the door closes lock. And the gunner is apparently not able to lift his feet over the wall. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> Yeah, you need a shower, man. I fixed it. <laughs> well, it won't turn on again, will it? No, yeah, no, not him again. Oh, man. What? what I'm going to go turn it off. Oh, thank God it turned off by itself. I was getting real concerned. <laughs> oh, man, I guess I'll go try to get that thing again. Like, oh, my God, it got me wet all over again. How the hell? Oh, How does this keep water. happening? Oh, I don't understand. i got to turn off the water. Oh, no, it fixed itself. <laughs> all right, cool. I guess I don't need to worry about anything at all. guess we can just kind of go and 
deal with this completely. Oh my god, I got me went all over again. Okay, fine. I, I took a bath already. Damn it. <laughs>